You're watching UNICEF Television. Over 25,000 Ivorians have sought refuge in Liberia following elections in their country at the end of November. Almost 6,000 are under the age of five. Food is scarce and health risks are high, and infants are particularly vulnerable to disease. The Liberian government, with the support of UNICEF and other partners, is going village to village to vaccinate children and mothers against disease, polio and yellow fever in particular. The Ministry of Health here do not know the vaccinator status in the people's home. So they got to make sure they protect the childbearing mother, including the children, against all uh, uh, diseases. For the older refugee children, classes have been completely disrupted. Local schools often serve as a shelter rather than a learning space. Eight-year-old Fujans has been living in this two-room school for the last six weeks. He is eager to attend classes, but he has no options. There is no school here. That's why I can't go to school. To fill his days and his stomach, Fujans works. When I finish pumping the water, I stack the rice. Then I bathe. UNICEF's team is on the ground assessing the education needs of school-aged refugee children. Teachers who are themselves refugees have been recruited to continue the Ivoirian curriculum in Liberian schools after regular local school sessions. Today is the first day back to school for almost 100 refugees. Starting a regular school and recreational routine will give these children a semblance of normal life, helping to reduce the trauma of displacement. First, they will have the option to make sure that they interact with one another and it will be a place where they will come, there will be some activity, recreational sports activities, and it will help them to de-traumatize them while the teacher working along with them. Distribution of UNICEF recreational kits has already begun and education materials are on the way. At least here in Liberia today, UNICEF came to help us to return to class. Truly, it makes me very happy. For more than 15,000 refugee children in Liberia, a little goes a long way, giving them hope of a normal life, good health, and a continuing education. This is Eva Gilliam reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.